We are surprisingly in Florida today. It's 32 degrees at 7 a.m. in the morning, so it's a little bit chilly today, but we were out in a farmer's field at a dive site called Wingate's Well. It's just a hole at the karst window, basically. that goes straight into the aquifer, and the farmer used to uh, use that pump down there to irrigate his fields. Back in the 80s, Wayne, Wes Giles, uh, Woody Jasper, and myself came to this spot because uh, Wayne Wingate's father needed us to take a look at the well because the pump wasn't working properly. So that was our first invite to get in here. So we go in and clean the foot valve on the bottom of his uh, pump and then go in and do some exploration. So what we've got here is a, about a 30 foot shaft uh, from the surface down to the opening. And it's a very narrow opening, about three foot in diameter, but then immediately bells out into a nice cavern. So once we get through the opening, we'll have lots of room to be able to gear up and explore. Back then, we rigged it and uh, lowered everything down hand over hand. I think we did a single pulley, but of course we were a lot younger back then. So today, we've rigged a two to one pulley system down there to be able to uh, lower all the gear in. Uh, makes it a lot easier than trying to just do hand over hand with a rope. Plus, now that the motor and pump have been removed, we've got a little bit easier access than what we had back in the 80s when we were trying to work around the pump over the opening. This cave is a relatively deep cave. It's about 140 to 160 feet. So it's right on the limits of what you'd want to do with air, but so we're, we don't want to do that because the narcosis would limit what we could do. So today we're going to be using Trimix, and Trimix, since it's been um, in the diving community, has really revolutionized the sport. It's allowed us to do further penetrations, deeper penetrations, all with a clear head. Uh, back when we were air diving, it seemed to be that uh, you'd get to spots, not remember which tea you took and whatnot just because of the narcosis, but the helium tremendously helps with that and it's really expanded the level of exploration that we're able to do. The plan for the dive is we're going to go into the cavern area. There's a line that goes down to about 160 feet and where the passage starts goes into a junction room. In the junction room there's a T. We're going to take a right at that T and head upstream. Back then everything was air and no real uh, dive computers and such and trimix. So the dives were short and we didn't do a lot in here. So now that we've got new technology and gases, a little bit shorter decompression, and a lot more help today, we're going to come in and see if there's anything we left uh, from what we did back in the 80s. So we're really excited about uh, what we might be able to find down here and just uh, to what extent we might go. Thank you. 